of skin prep when it comes to um, getting your skin ready to receive the makeup that you're gonna put on your face. Five, 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 five. Step five is to get a primer that is best supported with your skin type. So it could be a mattifying primer, which is very typical. So I use a mattifying primer for myself. And the trick that I like to do is I like to keep the mattifying primer only in the areas that is needed. So if I feel like I have a lot of oils in a certain area of my face, that's only where I'll use it. So I typically get um, kind of oily, if ever, now, because my skin is, has gotten balanced. So I keep, I get the oils like on my nose sometimes, by my cheek area and my forehead. So that is only where I will put the mattifying primer um, in that area, nowhere else, because everywhere else is normal to dry. So now if I put that primer everywhere else, it's going to get dry and possibly leave dry patches and, and possibly lead to flakes. So I don't want that to happen. So I keep it only in the area that I need it. And a little bit, depending on your price, a little bit does go a long way. Proceed on to your, the rest of your uh, foundation routine or your makeup. If you feel like your skin is still dry in certain areas and um, you were a little skimpy in that area, it is okay for you to go back and tackle that area with either a high, the hydrating mist or um, the moisturizer. So let's say if this area was not as moisturized as another area, you do want to make sure it is because when foundation settles onto your face and it's dry, it will get even more dry. <laughs> more drying and possibly patchy and flakiness. So you don't want that to happen, especially if the foundation you're using is mattifying and you, you know, you powder it and then boom, it's dry. It's even more dry. So you don't want that to happen. So what I like to do is I take my finger and I bounce it against my skin. And if it bounces back, it has enough elasticity in the skin, which lets me know that my skin is ready for makeup, it's plump and ready to go. So whatever I lay on top of my skin, the foundation and whatnot is going to sit like butter on my face. So you guys always say, oh Britt, your skin looks like butter. I love the way you do foundation, da 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 da. Your foundation looks just like skin. That is why. <laughs> That is the trick. You never want to rush skin prep. Like that is the most important, one of the most important steps when it comes to a skin-like finish, a flawless skin-like finish that looks like skin. So if you enjoyed this, go ahead and share and comment below what you liked about this video and see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye.